here's the thing. Because, yeah, I got problems. We all got problems. But what you do when you're faced with the hard times in your life is what you're made out of, is what you become. You don't become great by getting everything handed to you. No, that's not a reality. What happens is you go through the struggles, you go through the hardest moments in your life, and then you find out what you're made out of. You find out how much fire you can go through in your life. It's not easy. It's never easy. It's always hard. It's always ugly. And to be honest, it's what makes you you. So embrace it. Embrace the hard times in your life because they won't last. Embrace what you have right now in your life because it could be gone tomorrow. And that's the reality. That's the reality that we don't live in a society is that we say, oh, it's going to be around forever. I got enough time in the world, but the reality is, is that you don't have enough time. Your phone's on some kind of percentage that you don't know when it's going to turn off and shut down forever. That's your life. You could be on your deathbed tomorrow. And there's not enough people out here preaching this message saying, live your life to the fullest. Take risks. Make the commitment. Push yourself past your boundaries. No, they don't want you doing that. They want you in your nine to five job where you hate your life and you're miserable. Why? Because it benefits them. And that's the sad reality is that you spend paycheck to paycheck without ever getting ahead. And you're stuck and you're trapped. And there's people out there that are going to preach the opposite, say, you know what, live beneath your means. It's not about a paycheck. It's about your happiness because you only got a certain amount of time on this earth to affect a certain amount of people. So start putting your effort into something you believe in. Even if it, has to, even if it means you have to lose everyone and everything. That's the problem people aren't willing to risk. You're not willing to risk your happiness for a year towards a goal that you know you believe in. I believe in suicide prevention. I didn't always believe in it, but I believe in it now. And I volunteer my time on the phones, talking to people on the worst day of their life. And it's hard, but it's needed for me. It's what I'm good at. It's, it's, I know it's making a difference. How are you going to make a difference in this world? You only got a certain amount of time. Start utilizing it. I can't tell you how hard it is just to keep getting beaten down and, and just feeling like you're going nowhere and waking up every day knowing that today you got to fail. Today is the day that you have to wake up and things aren't going to go the way that you want them and you're not going to accomplish what you set out to do, but you just might get a little bit closer. Maybe. And that's the hardest thing for people and that's the hardest thing for me is just to wake up and admit that I'm going to fail, admit that I'm going to do something wrong and then I'm going to screw up. I feel that. I'm such a lone wolf in this life because I have the dedication just to constantly make mistakes. And I do it in my relationships and I do it in my businesses and I do it in my life and I learn from my mistakes. That's the difference is, is that I don't keep making the same ones. And the people that get to hang around me and the people that know that Addison's going to mess up, he's not going to be perfect, but he's going to keep swinging. He's going to keep going up to bat and the people in the crowds are going to keep yelling at him, booing him and just saying that he's the worst person in the world. It's going to happen. I know it because I live it. I constantly wake up with that, knowing that that's what I do. That's who I am. And I've accepted my flaws and my failures and I've taken my flaws and my failures and I've set them down to build a bridge over my problems, to know that I'm not perfect, to know that there's always something that I can improve on. That's the hardest thing, just to keep swinging, to get up there and swing with all your might, even though you might not hit that ball, just to keep going, to get up to the plate, to not listen to the naysayers, to the people who say you can't do it, Give it your all and take that swing. I know it's not easy. I know you might miss.